Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation is going to be from Proposition 21 of Book 6. Now, in this proposition, we have three polygons, and this proposition states that if the polygon A is similar to the polygon C, and if the polygon B is also similar to the polygon C, then A will be similar to B. Now this is a very simple proof, so let's begin. So we have that A is similar to C. So by definition of what it means to be similar, it means that the ratio of two sides of about a given angle in A, that ratio will be equal to the equivalent two sides about the same angle in the polygon C, and that all the angles are equal, so that the angle A1 will be equal to the angle C1. Again, that's the defin definition of what it means to be similar. Now likewise, since B is similar to C, the ratio of B1 to B2 will be equal to the ratio of C1 to C2, and this angle here, call it B1, will be equal to the angle C1. So now let's look at what we've got. We have that the angle A1 is equal to the angle C1. The angle B1 is also equal to the angle C1. If these two are equal, then we know that these two are equal. So therefore, we have shown that the angle at A1 is equal to the angle at B1. Likewise, since the ratio A1 to A2 is equal to C1 to C2, ratio B1 to B2 equals C1 to C2, and these two are the same, that means that these two ratios are also equal. So now we have shown that the ratio of A1 to A2 is equal to the ratio of the lines A2, or B1 to B2. And if we look at these two things we've proof, proven, we have the angle at A1 is equal to the angle at B1, and so on for all the angles, and the ratio of A1 to A2 is equal to B1 to B2, and this, by definition, means that A is similar to B. So thus, in this proof, we have shown that if A is similar to C and B is similar to C, A is similar to B. In other words, similar is a transitive property for polygons. And that's it for this proof.